welcome to Deck Analysis and Testing. What you see on screen is actually a page from my website, and it now looks really cool. My website, dlftp.com, has been around for a year, and that is where I put all of my free-to-play decks after every video. But I've made some changes to the interface, and now it just looks really amazing. Anyway, Shadows are Dark Cliff monsters based around fusion summoning with effects that activate when they are sent to the graveyard by a card effect. The deck is really good at grind games due to all of their graveyard effects, but realistically, the reason why most people will play this deck is because one of the fusion monsters have a really strong effect that stops your opponent from special summoning. Each Shadow has two effects, one flip effect and one effect that activates when they are sent to the graveyard by a card effect. It has to be an effect, so discarding them for a cost like something with a super poly or linking them away will not trigger the graveyard effects. The two effects are also shared once per turn, so if you use one of the effects, you cannot use the other one in the same turn. So let's have a look at the cards. First is a Reshadal Wendy. The flip effect is to special summon a Shadow monster from your deck in face up or face down. And uh, the graveyard effect is to special summon a Shadow, but it can only be face down. The two effects are pretty similar, and you usually will be summoning them face down anyway, because uh, you want to use the flip effects, which is usually really good. Next is our Fire Shadow Monster. This card has a flip effect of targeting a face up monster your opponent controls, and then send a Shadow Monster with its same attribute from an extra deck, and then banish that monster. This card also has a ton of stats, so it's nice if you are able to special summon this card from your deck, and it will usually be able to block off most of your opponent's monsters. If this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can send cards from the top of your deck equal to the number of different original attributes among the monsters on the field. This sends just random cards from your deck, so um, we were playing a lot of Shadow cards, so we will have a higher uh, chance of actually hitting the monsters that we want to send. Next is Shadow Dragon. This card has a flip effect of targeting a card your opponent controls and bouncing it back to the hand. And when it's sent to the graveyard, you can pop a back row on a field. Both effects are really good. Next is Squamata. This card has a flip effect of destroying a monster on field. And if this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can send a Shadow card from the deck to the graveyard. Next is Hedgehog. Hedgehog is our main searcher. It can have a flip effect of adding a Shadow uh, spell trap from your deck to your hand, and uh, if it's sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you add a monster instead. Next is Hound. Hound, when it is flipped, you add a Shadow card from the graveyard back to your hand, but uh, most importantly is its second effect when it's sent to the graveyard, you get to change the battle position of a monster on field. This allows you to actually flip your monsters turn one, so you don't have to rely on your opponent to attack your monsters to actually use your flip effects. Next is Falco. Falco is our main way of getting back our monsters from the graveyard because it has the flip effect of special summoning a shadow from your graveyard in a face down defense position. And uh, if it's sent by a card effect to the graveyard, you can special summon this card from the graveyard in a face down defense. But do remember that the two effects are shared once per turn, so. Uh, don't expect to uh, summon this card face down and immediately fit it, flip it back face up and use its second effect. Next is a one copy of the Light Shadow because we actually need a light target for our Light Shadow. We are playing one copy of this card. This card, when flipped, can special summon a Shadow from your hand and uh, choose to be face up or face down defense position, similar to Wendy. And also, uh, if it's sent to the graveyard, you can send a shadow from your hand to the graveyard, and for the rest of the turn, all monsters you control gain attack and defense equal to the original level of that monster times 100. This is not very good because it can't actually send uh, spells or traps, so you can't send something like a shadow core, but I guess it's nice to send cards from your hand just to trigger the graveyard effects of your shadow monsters. Next is our Spells and Traps. Super Poly is really good in this deck because all of your Shadow Fusions are generic for half of the uh, Fusion materials, so you can always use your opponent's monsters to make your own Shadow Fusions. 
Next is three copies of Elserdal Fusion. This is our main fusion spell. It is a quick play spell, so you can activate it during your opponent's turn, but usually you're just gonna use it in your own turn anyway. Next is three copies of a Sinister Shadow Games. This card is actually not a Shadow card, so it is not searchable or it cannot be sent using something like a Squamata or your a Construct. So you will have to draw it just by normal drawing. And this card can send a Shadow card from your deck to the graveyard and then change any number of face down defense position Shadow monsters to your face up defense position. This is really good in both milling stuff you want from your deck and also triggering your own flip effects whenever you want. Next is Shadow Core. We're only playing one copy of this card because. Realistically, you're only going to use its graveyard effect, because when it is sent to the graveyard, you can add back a shadow spell or trap from a graveyard back to your hand. So usually, if you fusion summon a construct using a uh, squamata, you can send both something like a schism from your skill and a core, so you can immediately use your core to add back the other spell and trap that you sent to the graveyard. Okay, for the extra deck, we are playing four fusions. One El Shadow Construct, you will be playing more copies of this card if you have more copies. This card uses one Shadow and one Light Monster as material, and uh, if it's Special Summoned, you can send one Shadow card from your deck to the graveyard. And also, at the start of the damage step, if this card battles a Special Summoned monster, you can just destroy that monster without needing to go to battle. And all fusions share the same effect when it's sent to the graveyard. You can add back a shadow spell or trap from your graveyard back to the hand. This is a really good effect, and what makes this deck really good in the grind games is that you can just always add back your fusion spells or add back schism to always just pump out even more fusion monsters in your next turn. Next is two copies of the fire shadow. Uh, we actually only have one uh, fire monster in the main deck, but you can always use the first copy of the fusion in the graveyard and use Schism to make the second copy with that as well, so we can still make two if we need to. And uh, when your opponent will special summon a monster, you can negate the special summon and then discard, uh, you can send a shadow card from your hand to the graveyard afterwards. Uh, this is really good, even though it only negates uh, inherent special summons, so if you special summon using an effect, this won't be able to trigger. It's similar to uh, Steel Swarm Roach, so if your opponent uh, Synchro summons, XC summons, Link summons, you can use this effect, but if your opponent Fusion summons or special summons with an effect, some with something like a White Stone, for example, you won't be able to use this effect. And also it has the same effect as all of the fusions to add back a shadow spell trap from the graveyard when it is sent to the graveyard, including by a link summon, which you will do quite often. Next is one copy of the Wind Shadow. Honestly, this card is not very good. Most people don't even play this card, but I like playing one copy, so uh, we could just have a free monster that we can summon off of Schism during our own turn. And a free monster is always good because you can use that as a link material and then trigger its graveyard effect to add back a spell or trap from your graveyard. Next are the links, one gravity controller. This card is really important in this deck because it allows us to link away our fusion monsters to trigger their graveyard effects to recycle back the spell traps. This is a link one that needs a non-link monster in the extra monster zone, so usually if you make your construct or your window, you will be making it in your EMZ so you can always link it away if you need to. It cannot be used as a link material during your turn it's link summoned, and also a discard in the extra monster zone cannot be destroyed by battle with a monster in the main monster zone, and at the start of the damage step, if discard battles an opponent's monster in the extra monster zone, you can return both that monster and discard back to the deck. If your opponent, if your opponent don't read this card, they will have a really hard time getting rid of it, but you know, you can just always get rid of it with a card effect. So. Um, the effect in itself isn't that important, you're just usually using it as a link 1 to link away your own fusions. Anyway, we're playing the um, Draco Masters and uh, Lanforinka's combo, because this, al this allows us to uh, link climb into um, link 3 monster that pops a monster for free. 
and also uh, they are both light monsters, so they're quite useful if you don't have a way to send uh, the light shadow from your deck or have it in your hand. You can always just link summon with uh, these light link monsters and then use them to fusion summon your construct using something like a schism or just using your fusion spells by using them on field. And finally is the regular shadow construct without the L. Uh, this needs two flip monsters, so you can't use the fusion monsters. And also during your main phase, you can fusion summon a shadow fusion monster by using cards from your hand or field, so you don't even need the fusion spell if you can make this card. And also if this card is in your graveyard, you can send a shadow card from your hand or face of field to the graveyard, and then special summon this card back to your field. This card is okay, uh, mainly because um, the problem with this card is that you can't really make this card very easily because you need to flip monsters. Uh, but if you could make this card, this card quite, this card can be quite useful because uh, it allows you to fusion summon and also it's a light monster, so it works quite well with your uh, El Shadow construct. Let's have let's uh, have a look at the skill. The skill is a legacy skill designed for this deck specifically. And it adds El Shadal Winder and free Shadal Fusions and Shadal Schism to your deck. Uh, Winder is a really strong monster. It's the monster that you, you, you're usually going to make turn one. It stops your opponent from a special summoning more than once. And Shadal Fusion allows you to fusion summon using stuff from your own deck if your opponent has an extra deck monster on field, which is really good. It's a one card combo if your opponent has extra deck monsters. And Schism is also really, really good. It allows you to fusion summon during your opponent's turn and also send monsters to your control if you fusion summon a monster with the same attribute as one of their monsters. And it is just your main way of actually uh, pumping out your fusion monsters without needing to spend a lot of resources from your hand and field. And also, uh, the skill locks you into uh, Shadow special summons except for the extra deck. And uh, you can use this effect once per turn to return a shadow monster from your graveyard or banished back to your deck or extra deck. You usually use this effect to shuffle back the window because you only have one from the skill. So if the window goes to the graveyard, you can just put it back to the extra deck and make it again using something like a schism. And that really allows you to continue to play even if your window gets, uh, gets sent to the graveyard or gets banished by your opponent. Let's have a look at the expensive version of the deck. We are playing the Magistus engine. Riliona is really good in Shadows because it is a light monster that also grabs you a fusion spell. So Riliona plus any Shadow monster is full combo because you can immediately make Construct and send Schism and then link it away to add back the Schism. It's just a really neat combo. And um, we're also playing uh, free copies of Compulse because we have the space to play. Oh, we don't have a lot of space to play uh, like too many back row because you still need uh, some amount of monsters and fusion spells in your hand to actually start playing. So that's why we're not playing uh, more than three copies of generic back row. But um, having free Compulse around is still a really good choice. Uh, we're also playing the uh, Magistus Invocation as the search target of our Reliona. This is the fusion spell that you will be adding off of Reliona to fusion summon. And for the extra deck, we're also playing a copy of the uh, Magistus Fusion because we can make this card. And also we are playing uh, two Shadow Constructs because uh, you should play two if you have two. It's just a really good monster. And we're playing the Nightmares as the generic link monsters that we are using. Okay, let's have a look at the replays. We are first playing against Rockets. And uh, that might be a problem because if they make Void Ogre, that means they could negate our fusion spells and that is not very nice. And just looking by our hand, we really need to rely on... Uh, Shadow Fusion resolving because these cards don't really do a lot on their own. And that is also one of the main uh, issues with um, Shadows is that uh, it's just always really bricky. Our opponent will end on a Void Ogre, unfortunately, so we can't really use the Shadow Fusion. So we just have to set one monster and pass. 
Our opponent will bounce back or trap for some reason. I don't really know why they don't bounce the set monster, but because of that, we could uh, use its flip effect to get rid of the Void Ogre. So during our next turn, we can actually Fusion Summon our monsters using stuff from our hand because we don't have an extra deck monster on your opponent's side of the field, so we can't actually use stuff from our deck, which is quite unfortunate, but it's still enough for us to combo off. We're going to use the Dragon's Effect to pop the Field Spell and then use the Hedgehog's Effect to add a monster to our hand. So if our opponent tries to make an extra dynamic monster next time uh, during his turn, we could just negate the Special Summon using uh, the Shadow in our hand as a monster for us to send. Our opponent will be making a Borrowload Dragon using all of their monsters, and that is fine because we have to counter in the Fire Shadow. Once it hits the field, we can negate the summon by pitching the Wendy in our hand, and then our opponent losing everything will be scooping. So as you can see, this deck can actually win even without using Construct or Winda, just because the Fire Fusion monster is also pretty good. And also the flip effects of the shadows are also not really bad at all. The thing about shadows is that uh, if you have a shadow set face down, it's really hard for your opponent to not trigger either one of the effects because if your opponent attacks it, you trigger the flip effect, and if your opponent destroys it with a card effect, you still get to use the graveyard effect. So your opponent has to either banish it or bounce it back to the hand of the deck to actually prevent uh, their effects from using. We're going to make a window, which is good enough. Our opponent cannot make any of the extra deck monsters, so they're going to enter with two monsters on field. We're going to link summon our Lampharinkas, and you'll see why we are playing the uh, Draco Masters package plus uh, Wendigo. Even though this fusion isn't actually very good, we can still make it for free using the schism that we have. So we can link summon a link 3 using the link 2 plus the free fusion. We're going to get a pop for free, and uh, we're going to attack our opponent using the Link and our uh, Shadow that we summoned, and then we could uh, activate our Fusion spell in the battle phase to make our Construct using the Light attribute Draco Masters. Now we have a Construct, and even though our opponent has a skill that prevents them from losing, we are still in a pretty good position, and because uh, we used our skill to shuffle back the window, we can make it again using our schism by using our fusion materials from the graveyard, and our opponent cannot do under cannot out our window, and they are going to scoop themselves. Let's have a look at the expensive version, and uh, we are going second, which is not very nice because. Um, that means we couldn't use our uh, Winder turn 1. But at least if we draw a uh, Shadow Fusion next turn, we could still use the effect hopefully to send stuff from our deck to actually Fusion Summon without using anything in our hand, which is quite nice. But for now, our opponent is going to cancel a combo and uh, use two different level monsters to make it a rank 5, which is just insane because of the skill. We have Reliona, so uh, we could still make our Construct at least. We could normal summon our Reliona and then a Fusion Summon using it with a Shadow on, in our hand, and then use both the effect of Construct and uh, Squamata that we used as a Fusion Material to send two cards to our graveyard, one Shadow Core plus a Shadow Fusion, so we can use the course effect to add the fusion to our hand. And then we can use the materials from our deck to make a window, and use the Hedgehog and the Wendy that we sent off of our fusion spell to summon a dragon to our side of the field and then add a free monster as well. Our opponent will bounce back our window, which is fine. We can still destroy our opponent's monster with the construct that we have. He is going to summon a monster, but because he bounced back our window, we can just simply make it again with the quick play spell that we have and trigger the two graveyard effects as well. We're going to send a schism to our graveyard, so if we link away our fusion, we can grab it back, but our opponent will just scoop. I guess that's fine.